What's up everyone? Thanks for watching and thanks for stopping by. It's been a little bit since I've been able to upload a video. Uh, in short, when I got off of active duty, I kind of hit the ground running. Uh, past couple months was kind of like the first opportunity I really had to take some time off, do a little bit of traveling. Uh, back now though, so we're going to be uploading with a whole lot more frequency like we were uh, just like prior to Christmas. Uh, so while I was gone, I had a whole bunch of ideas for videos, so I've been kind of keeping a run running log of what I wanted to do. And uh, today we're going to start out with something that I've been using now for a good couple years. It's been about maybe four years since I made my first one. Uh, this is the third one that I'm on right now. Uh, and this is your, basically, you can do your own do-it-yourself shooter smart book. So let's jump into this. So every time you, you take a class, sign up for a class, part of the packing list is pen and paper. Uh, pen and paper is kind of there, so you, obviously you can take some good notes. Uh, if you ran a couple drills in that class that kind of really hit home for you, uh, maybe exploited some weaknesses within your own individual skill set, write down the drill. Um, conversely, even if you weren't in a class and you were shooting with some buddies on the weekend, if they came over and uh, they said, hey, try this drill A, B, and C, and you really liked it, write it down. Uh, Pistoltraining.com, they have a whole ton of drills up there. And uh, basically what I started doing was a couple years ago, and this is, I think, the third iteration of book that I had, is uh, in the front of this book here, what I have here is some dope from uh, some of the longer precision rifles I have. Um, I keep some notes in here about uh, range estimation, a rudimentary range estimation that is with a red dot. And then when you start getting a little further into the book, what you see is there's a whole bunch of drills I got written down and they have corresponding page numbers. So this one's called the Barn Burner, uh, the Focus Monster. Um, I always try and keep the legend the same. So shooting positions are triangles. Uh, all the targets are always gonna be squares. And this book just keeps going on and on and on and on. So basically what I do is the night before I plan on going out to shoot, sometimes it's been the day of, I'll flip over to this very back cover right here. And what I did was I, uh, I take a, a piece of uh, document protector and I cut it up a little bit and then I slap it on the rear cover with some 100 mile an hour tape. And then what you'll see kind of down here is I'll just throw some numbers on there. The numbers on the very back page correspond to the page number in the book. So uh, a good example, everybody always needs a little bit of extra work with uh, shooting with their weekend. It is what it is, me included. So night before, day of, before I go ahead out to shooting, I'll uh, flip through this book and I'll look through some drills that I've done over the years. Maybe I haven't done one in quite some time. And I'll look for some drills that kind of expose uh, a weakness or perceived weakness that I may have in weekend shooting. From there, I'll just write down the numbers. So 26, 25, 33, and 11. When I get out to the range, I don't remember what it is exactly what I wanted to do specifically in here. So I'll just kind of refer back to the back cover right here. And now I got a couple numbers, 26, 25, 23, 2011. Those are the pages I'm gonna be flipping to in the book to actually start shooting when we get out here. This has helped me a whole lot, a whole lot uh, over the years. A uh, big thing that it's done is it kind of keeps me accountable and it also keeps me from pissing away a whole bunch of ammunition. Um, I can't tell you how many times before I started trying to practice smarter that, you know, you get out to the range, uh, you take out your carry ammo, you put it off to the side so you don't accidentally shoot it, you put in your full metal jacket uh, training ammo or practice ammo, and, you know, and then you just start shooting. Uh, most times, what are we doing? Maybe defeating cover garments and then work right from concealment or possibly right from on the waistband holster. And then we just start shooting. So when I kind of dive into this book a little bit, I try and more or less plan my shoot or plan the execution and then I execute the plan. It keeps me a whole lot more accountable. It kind of keeps me from pissing away a whole lot of excess or needless ammo because ammo is not cheap. And all in all, it makes my practice time a whole lot more productive. So this is super easy to do. Uh, even if you hadn't gone to any uh, classes or got any training recently, uh, heading over to pistoltraining.com, they got a shitload of drills out there. Um, if you're watching this channel, I would take a pretty educated guess to say you probably know some right off the top of your head. Um, grab any notebook. Uh, these right in the rain notebooks work a little bit better than most notebooks simply because they can get wet and the ink's not going to run all over the place on you. Um, you can make it a little bit more durable just by throwing around some 100 mile an hour tape around the edges. And uh, in the front, you know, keep some dope notes. Keep some notes about rudimentary range estimation with a red dot. Make notes about different scopes you have on different guns, whether it would be a precision gun, 
Uh, I got notes in the front here about holdovers uh, from a 10.5 to an 11.5 to a 14.5 to a 16 inch gun. 16s are the longest guns I have. Um, different holdovers, different zeros, um, just stuff that's extremely useful and can be extremely practical for you when you actually head out to shoot. So that's it for this video. Um, I'll see you guys in another couple days. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. A few moments later. If you give a shit, tune in.